Hello and welcome. In the last video we talked about IP addresses. Here we'll go over the subnet mask and the slider or classes into the main routing. A subnet mask is an address used alongside the IP address. It is used to distinguish between the hosts of the network and the network they belong to. Network devices such as routers do this via bitwise and operation of the IP address and the subnet mask. We also give the network address and the host address. We should send any care about the network address, as the host is often not directly connected to. The CIDR is the forward slash and the number after the IP address. When using CIDR notation, you can just use subnet notation where you use forward slash and then the subnet mask. So the CIDR shows how many bits are available for the network portion of the IP address, and therefore you can work out how many bits are left for the hosts. There are three classful sliders, which are 4 slash 8, 4 slash 16, and 4 slash 24. This is, has a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. .0 .0. This one is 255.0.0. And this one is 255.255.0. .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 So where you have the 245, where that's the network portion, and where you have the 0, that's the host. So if you have 255.255.0.0, you have two octets for the network and two octets for the host. This means the two zeros can change when looked at in the terms of IP address. And still be on the same network. So if we use 172.16, what? Point, well, if we use the network 0.0, which 16, you have 172.16.1.0 and 172.16.9.0 still being on the same network, which is 172.16.0.0, which 16. Notice that even though this is point 0.0, this is actually a host and not the network. So next time we will use GNS3. So GNS3.net is the place to go to download it. And we'll be looking at Cisco equipment using that piece of software. So hopefully this has been helpful.